Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we perform a bulk import into Oracle Fusion using OIC. So let's see the high-level steps involved. So these are the high-level five steps involved in creating a bulk import into Oracle Fusion using OIC. The first and fourth most important thing is we need to create an FTP connection where in the source data file will be available in a zip format in the FTP. Next one is the, FTP, the ERP connection wherein we will create a connection to the ERP cloud adapter. Third one is we would like to create an integration of type schedule. And also we need to create a mapping between the first two connections. Here if you observe, I have highlighted the mapping between the first connection, like a nothing but FTP connection with the ERP cloud adapter. Next, once your particular ERP, once your integration is configured, you need can activate the integration and then you can perform the run the integration. So now let's see the steps involved in creating the connection. So to create an FTP connection, you need require if your FTP server details, like uh, you require four details. One is your host name of your server, the FTP host name, FTP port, and also the username and credentials. And here we are using a security policy called FTP server access policy. Based on your FTP configuration, you have to use appropriate security policy. And also the very important properties, SFTP connection, in our case, it is yes. So you have to, I mean, I have considered as yes. In your case, maybe you have to check it, how it is configured. Next one is the ERP connection. So yeah, this one. So next one is the ERP connection, where you need to create a connection of type Oracle ERP cloud. Mention the connection details click on create and here you can observe here we just require three details for the ERP cloud connection one is your host name nothing but the URL of your fusion ERP then the security policy I'm using here is username password token nothing but you require username and password so this is how we can configure the ERP cloud connection and the third one is here we'd like to create an integration of type schedule so as of now within the fusion within the OIC we have only two kinds of integrations right so one is application, other one is schedule. I'm going with the schedule integration and these are the details I've mentioned for the integration, AP invoice bulk import. The identifier generally gets generated, auto-generated. Click on next. And once your integration is created, this is how it looks like the first one, the first icon, the first image. And you can just click on a plus symbol beside your schedule icon. Then it shows the list of connections which are available. You select the FTP connection. Mention the properties here. We'd like to, the operation what we want to perform is read a file. So mention the appropriate description of the endpoint. Click on continue. And then we'd like to read a file from a specific directory. I'll show you the directory, how it does it look like in our case. So this is how it looks like. Let's just reconnect it. Yeah. So this is how it looks like in my instance, upload users OIC 3 this one. And this is my file, which I'm reading into OIC using the FTP. So this is the input directory, the file name, and click on continue. And you can just go with the default. And there is very important problem. We don't want to configure any schema here. We just want to read it as it is. So just simply click on no here and then just click on continue. You can see the summer here. These are the very important properties which we have set it. The FTP invoke, the description. The operation is we would like to read a file. Transfer mode is binary. Input directory, file name, and then click on finish. That's it. So our FTP connection mapping is done within the integration. Now the next thing is we need to create, we need to invoke our ERP cloud connection. So here you can observe here, there are two things which got created. One is map for the FTP one. And the next is once you click on plus symbol, it shows the list of available connections. You have to select ERP cloud connection. Mention the appropriate properties like import AP invoices, click on continue. And you can see there are three options. One is query, create, update or delete information, import bulk data. Other one is send files to ERP cloud. So we are going with the second option, import bulk data into Oracle ERP cloud. And then click on next. 
So here it shows a list of FBDA operations. I can say like a list of FBDA jobs which are available or ASS jobs which are available. So you have to go with import payable invoices. Once you select import payable invoices, it automatically populates the appropriate UCM account, the job package details. It does not need to change anything. These are generated automatically. You just simply click on continue. And then you can go with the default in this particular configuration, configure response property. Observe the summary, nothing to change. Simply click on finish. And you should be able to see your integration like this. There should be a mapping between your read file as well as ERP cloud adapter invoke operation. Now, the final one is the need to create a mapping between this particular read file as well as import action. There are three things we have to do it. Map the file reference, map the directory, and also map the file name. So these are the things you have to perform on the mapping. Okay, and the final one you can observe here. So by the you can observe here the status as a draft. Until unless you create a business identifier, it cannot be made active. So what you do is just click on this particular red color icon. It shows the business identifier. Just drag and drop start time. This is how it looks like. And once it is done. You can activate your integration and the status will be changed from draft to configured. Click on your integration, click on activate and you select the appropriate tracing level. If it is during development environment, better always go with the debug. And if you think it is good, then you can reset to appropriate other levels like uh, auditor production. Okay, so once you click on activate, the integration is ready to run. And then you can run the integration, select the integration. The status, once you see here, if you observe, one in the fourth step, when you click on activate integration, and the status will be status will be changed from configured to active. And once it is active, only then you can run the integration. Just click on run. Once you click on run, so the assumption what it will do is it will read the file which is available in your FTP, and it has to run the job, run the import job. And you can observe here it runs this couple of jobs like a load for interface file for import, import payable invoices, and import payable invoice report. So and once it is done, what you can do is you can go to fin Fusion and you can also validate the data whether it is imported successfully or not. Okay. Now what we do is we'll try to perform this particular detail in real time now. So I'll just go to the Fusion, uh, the integration instance. So I'm not creating the connections. I'll try to show the connections here. These are two connections, ERP cloud connection and FTP connection. So I'll just show you this one. Click on view. So this is my FTP connection. This is my host name, port, and properties can observe here. This is one SFTP true and username and password, right? This is first connection which we have to create. Other one is the ERP cloud connection. So I'll just click on view. We just require only three properties. One is host, username, and password. That's it. So the two connections are ready. Now we'll just create the integration from the scratch. So I'll just click on plus symbol here. And here, click on create schedule AP invoice bulk input train. Okay. I'll just go with click on create. Yeah. So now this is how it looks like. And just click on this particular icon and just change the map here horizontal or vertical. Now here, just click on this plus symbol. And the first connection, what we require is FTP connection, right? Click on FTP connection. What we want to do, we want to read the AP invoice file. Read AP invoice file. Click on continue. Go with the default, click on continue. Now here we have to provide the details of our FTP location. So just mention this and also the file name. So this is a file name. Just click on continue. And here, want to specify the structure? No, I don't want to mention any structure because it's just a zip and binary. So I'll just go with a no. Continue. This is the summary. Just click on finish. Okay. So this is how it looks like. Now we need to invoke our ERP cloud connection. Just click on plus symbol now. Click on ERP cloud connection. 
I'll just say invoke or import AP invoice. Click on continue. Let's say select the second option, import bulk data into Oracle API Cloud, continue. It will take a couple of minutes. Just type it or you can search it. Import payable invoices. That's it. You just select it and you can just observe in the down. Don't do anything. Just simply once you select automatically, this the below things will get populated. UCM account, import job packages. That's it. Don't change any property here. Click on next or continue. And go with the default. Click on continue. And here also nothing to change. Click, simply click on finish. And now we need to create a mapping between the FTP and ERP connection. This is a mapping here. Click on this symbol and click on edit. Now there are a couple of properties, the three properties we have to change it. Reference, directory and file. On the response part of the FTP, we get the file reference. And now in the property section, you should be able to get the directory and file name directory and file name. Now click on validate and it is good. Next thing is, as of now it is still in the draft mode only because you have not set the identifier. Click on this particular red color icon, the error section. Click on edit. Simply drag and drop the start time to the business identifier as of now. Click on save. Once you click on save, the status got changed to configured from draft to configured. Now go back here and then We'll go with the fourth step wherein we can activate our integration. Click on activate. So this is our integration, AP invoice, bulk import training, and I'll go with the debug mode as of now. And then you can just click on refresh. Yes, it is active. Click on run. But don't run as of now because I want to enter the data, right? So here, this is my FBDI zip file. So what I'll do is we know that FBDI generates the CSV file, right? I would like to modify the CSV file directly here. So there are two things here. I'll just make it as 15. This is my invoice ID. This is my invoice number. And this also I'll make it as 16. And here also 16. And this is my lines. I'll make it as 16. And this is as 15. That's it. So there are two things. I changed one of the invoice ID and invoice number in both header file as well as lines file. And then there's another property, there's a very important file called properties file, or generally we also call it as manifest file. These three files should be zipped, okay? Now here what we do is, so one, two, three, I'll just move it to my AP invoice file. I'll just say copy and replace, that's it. So now I got the latest files in my zip folder or zip file i mean so i'll just go to the server i'll try to copy the latest zip file from my local machine to the server yeah so we'll select here go with this one i'll just delete the existing one and drag and drop the latest one so now what we do is it is good to run so i'll just click on run yeah now what we we can go to the fusion, just refresh here. It may take a couple of seconds here. Yeah? The job started, refresh. It just takes a couple of minutes to perform the import. What you do is, I'll just go to the server, fusion ERP server. I'll go to manage invoices. I'll just try to search the invoice. As of now, it is not available. Yeah, let's wait. Let's see whether the import job is completed or not. It is still running. this here it has succeeded actually yeah it has to run other job now 
yeah once import payables in watch is done then only it will perform the import because the import in the FBT is a two-step process one is interface table load other one is a base table load Succeeded. Let's try. Perfect. So the invoice got imported successfully. That was the first invoice. Let's try the second invoice also. Yes, it got imported successfully. So this is how we can perform a bulk import into Oracle Fusion using FBDM. Thank you.